Good morning and welcome to Begin in the Word. Today we continue our studies in the book of Ephesians. We're up to chapter 1 now, verses 9 through 11. Ephesians 1, verse 9. Having made known to us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure, which he purposed in himself, that in the dispensation the fullness of the times he might gather together in one all things in Christ, both which are in heaven and which are on earth, in him. In him also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestined, according to the purpose of him who works all things according to the counsel of his will. So here Paul continues to talk about God's foreordained plan, which here he refers to the mystery of his will, and that plan of saving a certain kind of people, and that is this mystery. Paul characterized the discussion of this, this context as a discussion of the mystery of the gospel. And that mystery is explained here as people being gathered together in one in Christ. God predestined that his people would be together in Christ, that his people would be gathered together and be one. I want to remind you, that this is a predestination of God's plan, not a predestination of which man would be saved. Some look at this context and say it teaches that God is choosing who will be saved and who will be lost. But that's not what the Bible says. The Bible teaches here that God chose what kind of person would be saved. And we've learned from this context and other scriptures that we can make choices that relate to whether or not we are a part of that elect group. Now let's see what else the Ephesian letter says about this mystery. Ephesians 3, verse 3 through 6, how that by revelation he made known to me the mystery as I have briefly written already, by which when you read you may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ, which in other ages was not made known to the sons of men, as it has now been revealed by the Spirit to his holy apostles and prophets, that the Gentiles should be fellow heirs and of the same body and partakers of his promise in Christ through the gospel. Now here Paul again mentioned this mystery of the gospel that we read about in Ephesians 1, verse 9 through 11. And notice what he said. He said, regarding this mystery, as I have briefly written already. Well, what had Paul already briefly written regarding the mystery? Well, when you start in Ephesians chapter 3, verse 3 through 6, and you go backwards through the Ephesian letter, looking at what Paul had already written, and you start looking for this idea of the mystery, you land on Ephesians 1, verse 4 through 9, where he talks about the mystery. And so here in this reading, Paul is summarizing what this mystery is about. He is giving inspired commentary on what he meant by the words he wrote in Ephesians 1, verse 4 through 9. And he explained the meaning of that text as saying, Gentiles can be fellow heirs and of the same body. And what is that body? That body is the elect. So Ephesians 1, verse 4 through 9, Paul explains, is about the mystery of the gospel. And the mystery is not some idea concocted by John Calvin that God chose who would be saved and who would be lost. No, the mystery of the gospel is that people can choose to be a part of the same body, the body of Christ, the elect, and that in that body, Gentiles and ethnic Jews alike can all be adopted into the family of God. That is what Ephesians 1, verse 4 through 9 is about. Let's go back and look at it on our chart. Remember the false idea of Calvinist election that says God randomly chose which individual would be saved and which individual would be lost? An idea of election we do not read about in Scripture. Let's compare this to the biblical election as we found it explained in these verses of today's study. We've learned that that is a group, a body of people, 
and that that group is elsewhere called the elect. We've read about that in previous studies, and that that body is Jews and Gentiles all in the same body. So that is a choice that God has made of us all being together in Christ. And we get to decide whether or not to accept his invitation to be that faithful believer and be in Christ. Notice now the mystery is about God's children being gathered together in Christ. And he says the elect have attained an inheritance. Among the nations of men and in the ways of the world, there's constant hate and quarreling and strife and division. But walking faithful in Christ brings people together in Christ. And that's the blessing in Christ of being a part of the elect. And this last statement that this is all according to the counsel of his will, all of this about people choosing to come and be in Christ and choosing to be a part of the elect family of God, this has been God's plan all along. God's plan is to give you an opportunity to be saved. And that opportunity is taught in the word of God. I'm so glad that you joined us for today's study. Thank you very much. And as we've begun with today's study in the word, I pray that you'll live out today and every day in the mighty word of God. Thank you and God bless.